Welcome to the GANS Eco Energy Division of CBC America. Today's video is going to discuss solar panels. Let's talk about what they can do for you, the benefits of our offering, sizing requirements, and mounting. If you've been considering solar panels, let's discuss what they can do for you. Solar panels charge a boat's deep cycle battery. They can run the electronics, lights, and other items on your boat or RV that would typically require electricity to operate. If your boat or RV does not have a generator, or if you don't like the loud noise that a generator creates, or if it's a sailboat without any auxiliary engine, the solar panel might be the only charging battery receives. If your boat, sail or power, spends a lot of time in the marina, riding at anchor or in a slip, the panel can keep the battery charged, saving you the cost of shore power connection. Finally, even if you have an engine that keeps the battery charged, the panel can help out. You must first decide your goal. Do you want to keep a battery trickle charged or fully rely on solar power as your source for multiple appliances? Figuring out how much solar is needed is quite simple. To trickle charge a battery, use either our 6 watt or our 12 watt panel. Simply connect directly to the battery, negative to negative and positive to positive. Nothing else is needed because they are pre-connected with a blocking diode, terminals and fuse. To power multiple appliances, connect the panels in parallel. There are two ways of figuring this out. An amp meter can be used and connected to the battery. This will show total amperage consumed. Then the wattage can be determined. Ohm's law demonstrates volts times amps equals watts. The other way is to use our online calculator. Locate your electrical appliance, plug in the hours needed for each, then our calculator will automatically tally the total wattage needed. Our 30 watt, 40 watt, and 55 watt panels require a charge controller. This will prevent the battery from overcharging. If you require multiple GAN solar panels, a dual charge controller known as the DC-10A is what's required. This will protect your multiple battery banks. This piece of equipment can be used with other solar panels if needed. It automatically switches between batteries depending on their state of charge. It manages the overcharging, reverse polarity, and offers short circuit protection. Our dual charge controller needs to be placed indoors, away from moisture. It can be used on your boat, RV, or other remote locations. In the diagram, you'll note the GANS remote charge meter. This complements the GANS dual charge controller for its ability to monitor both solar voltage and battery voltage, charging current, and load current. It displays amp hour, watt hour charge accumulation, and shows you the percentage of batteries charged. This gives you the ability to monitor and switch batteries as needed. Let's talk about the benefits of GAN's Eco Energy solar panels. First off, they are not made from glass. They feature an unbreakable plastic film surface with semi-flexible aluminum backing. Boaters and RVers never have to worry about the common elements such as hail, wind, rocks, these panels have been saltwater tested and they are highly durable. The next benefit to consider is that they are semi-flexible. If there is a slight curve required at the installation site, these panels will flex up to 3%, allowing for an easy installation. Another benefit of the GANS Eco Energy Solar Panels is that they are extremely light in weight. Our largest panel, 55 watts, only weighs 7 pounds. This allows for easy installation without having to use any heavy mounting solutions. They can be mounted flush to a rooftop of an RV or mounted right to the bimini of a boat. Another benefit to our solar panels is the fact that they are clean, quiet, and easy to use. Since the solar panels consume no fuel and give off no waste, this is an excellent source for an eco-friendly environment. Just place the panel in the sun and they will generate electricity. Other benefits to consider are that your battery life will be maximized. These are low to no maintenance panels. 
They are reliable, durable, and safe, and you never need worry about finding shore power or running a generator. When considering where to mount our solar panels, we must determine the best place to install. Solar panels give maximum output when they are perpendicular to the sun's rays. A boat's movement and RV travels might prohibit this type of installation. Therefore, we recommend it best to mount the panels horizontally. Common locations are on radar arches, on top of T-tops, bimini's, pole mounting, deck mounting, and even canvas mounting. Easy installations are due to the light weight of our solar panels. Now let's show you how to use the GANS online calculators. We will demonstrate how to complete a common calculation and you'll see how easy and quick you can determine what size panel is necessary based on the requirements. This is a two-step process. First column lists a few standard appliances typically found on a boat. The second column shows you the average draw amps for each appliance. The third column is where you input your information. Here, in the yellow highlighted column, you will plug in hours of use. So for instance, let's click on the tab titled Marine Calculator to see what is required for a boat. Let's say I anticipate running my bilge pump for one hour a day. I have a GPS that I want to use for two hours. My stereo will run for about two hours a day, and I will use my anchor light for two hours a day. The grid automatically totals your amps per day that you are drawing from these appliances. Now let's look at the calculator on your left. Your input from the grid has already been populated into the calculator and the math has been done for you. The calculation is achieved by the following. Number of amps times 12 divided by hours of direct sunlight and adding an additional 20%. This will give us the recommended size solar panel. So for this example, based on the appliance hours you've input and the amps per day calculated, you will require a 40 watt solar panel to allow for a fully solar powered environment. The calculations will work the same for our RV calculator listed on the next tab. The RV calculator holds a more extensive list of appliances and amp requirements for finding the right size panel.